Children are our future, a way to be immortal. So we want them to have fun, to learn, and to be happy. And it's so important to spend time with them while they're still young. There is so little time with work and all the daily responsibilities. Now that I am a grandma, I have more time for my grandkids than I ever had for my own children growing up. Nowadays, there are so many amazing places to take them. Places that didn't exist when we were young. But everywhere, we just sit with other people, on benches, just watching them play, waiting for the time to pass. I chat with other mothers. I read the paper, work on my iPad, or talk about football, with the guy in the next bench. Sometimes I just find myself napping on the bench. <laughs> I wish we could really do things with them, really share. Yeah, like those rainy nights when we all play Monopoly together or Snakes and Ladders. These are the very best moments as a family. I teach them poker. <laughs> I wish there was a way to live these moments together outdoors. So do I. Oh, this would be wonderful. Are you guys going to be fooling around all the time or are we going to finish playing the game? My name is Morpho, but my friends call me Blue, and I am from the high jungle of Peru. My turf is Tierra Mitica, a magical jungle where this crazy bunch of misfits have this bug about collective art. It sounds fancy, but it's about inviting anybody, do you get this? Anybody! To come and stay with us for free. Do you get this? For free! To sculpt, paint, all together, sharing ideas. Who does that? No wonder they are misfits. Anyway, they have done a whole building just to get people to paint on it. Then a giant sculpture of a pregnant Mother Earth. And you can get into her womb. No kidding! I've been there! Looks nothing like my cocoon. It's full of paintings. Then they did a huge brain with all sorts of stuff on it. Some of it X-rated. Don't blush. And then an amphitheater that is like a gigantic broken egg with all kinds of sculptures on it. Even a fire pit that looks like a jeep. I'm not bullshitting you. How do they dream all this stuff? They say, all together. Anyway, this year they are making the coolest thing ever. A playground that is playable as a board game, where kids and adults can spend time together, sharing all kinds of fun. It was inspired by my sister Wendy who is too young to even be a butterfly, cannot fly, and is crawling as a caterpillar. I guess they must be real dumb. Who is inspired by a silly, crawling kid, and not by yours truly, a majestic blue morpho butterfly? Anyway, come and take a look at the answer to all your wishes. Umbala! Come, let me show you Umbala! The first playground in the world that is playable like a board game 
Ooh. Ooh. Means colors in Zulu. So the game is like, go to the first yellow north, or find the purple east. Like squares on a board game. It works super! As I told you, this was inspired by Wendy, stupid, and is like walking inside a caterpillar, going through six continents, a north and a south pole, a Mayan pyramid, a castle with a wizard's dungeon, Aladdin's genie, Jack and the Beanstalk, and a goose's golden egg. A magic carpet ride, Snow White's dwarves, the core of the earth, slides, ball games, climbing through rope tunnels into igloos and meeting Eskimos. Honestly, how do they think of all this stuff? But Umbala can be made in any theme. It could be outer space, pirates and deserted islands fairy tales or inside whales, dragons or dwarves, or the best of all, super blue! Instead of dice, it uses an infinite variety of methods to move along the game. Fortune wheels, clever puzzles and equations that educate but are accessible to all, throwing balls and target games, divination by chance or choice, it is an infinite source of fun and challenges for young and old equally. Even little Wendy can play it. It is cheap, fast, and easy to make. A family could build a small one in their backyard, or join together with the neighborhood on weekends to build a cool one in the park. It can be built in towns, villages, university or school campuses, public spaces, company campuses for the employees' children, and it can be made, sculpted, and painted collectively anywhere. And it is a constant exhibition of everybody's art. Actually, it can be like the extravaganza, a month or two long summer festival of art and music where everybody can participate and contribute. Whole communities. Can you believe this? Isn't this the coolest idea ever? Something we can do all together! So not only your wish to share with your children is fulfilled, but also sharing with more and more people, creating art and playgrounds for everybody. Maybe some applause now, guys?